If the widow's cottage ceases to exist and ceases to have people looking after our youth in our community, I think it'll be devastating because there are so many talented, bright, wonderful, beautiful young people out there. They need Widow's Cottage to be there for them, to look out for them, because sometimes nobody else does. It's always just been me and my mum. I got kicked out of home when I was 14 and dropped out of school shortly after that. A number of years ago, uh, at the time in Byron, there was a lot of problems. So there was a lot of violence on the streets at packs of, I don't know, bored kids and drunk tourists coming together and, and clashing. It was, it was really nasty stuff. My dad left when I was about three months old. My mum and her boyfriend, they used to argue quite a bit. You know, it was just really, really hard. So I just used to sit in my room under my bed and scream and I wouldn't come out for hours. I started having problems at school. Um, I was getting in trouble a lot. On the verge of being suspended and actually being suspended a few times from school, you know, the teachers did view me as, as a bit of a as a bit of a rat bag, as a bit of a demon kid that was like, you know, impossible to kind of control. I grew up in like housing commission pretty much all over Sydney and stuff. Really, really rough. I smoked my first cigarette when I was six. About 14 years ago I got the widow's cottage in Mullumbimby. This building services the kids in the whole of the north of the Shire. I run five groups a week, two boys groups, three girls groups. The issues that the young people have, truanting, family issues, substance abuse, self-harm, relationship problems, um, anger issues. What I like about girls group is all us girls being all reunited and having Deb and Gemma there for us. When I got here I made so many new friends and I met Deb and they all really, really helped and just made me feel comfortable. I felt safe here. We started to participate in, in activities to prepare us to be young adults. And I could fully relate to all of the girls who were in that group. It actually improved my trust dramatically. My life's taken a, a pretty drastic turn now. I've got a family and married and really, really happy. just criminal, you know, if this service wasn't available. The Boron Youth Service Outreach Programs, it's a really, really important uh, asset to the, to the community, not just for the, the youth of Boron, but for the community at large. I just feel it's, it's a horrible, horrible loss if, if that service was to cease. It is really sad to think that a lot of people won't get the chance to meet Deb and have this opportunity because I know that there is a lot of people who would really benefit from what goes on here and how much it really does help. Deborah genuinely cares about young people and wants to help them and wants to help them get through what they're going through. It helped me see that I deserved a lot better. To actually realise that there was a light at the end of the tunnel after all. <laughs> it's a really important program. Um, a really effective program and it's going to be a damn shame to, to see anything happen to it. In the new financial year, Byron Youth Service and the Mullumbimby Cottage cannot survive without your help. We need funding. It's down to the wire.